Hello everyone and once again welcome to the Sparky Lyle Show with Sparky Lyle. I'm Paul <laughs> Spahala and we thank you for being with us. As we're going to talk about two World Series championships with the New York Yankees, 1977 and 1978. We started in 1977 and I'll start on the fact that you come off a 1976 World Series yeah. where you get swept by the great Cincinnati Reds, the big red machine. Did losing in four games set the groundwork for what was to come in 1977. Well, I think I think what happened there was we had to fight so hard to do what we did that year. And then Shambliss hitting the walk-off home run, and, and uh, we went and got on the plane. We're going, to, we're going to Cincinnati, and we had no hotel rooms. Somehow they got canceled in that something, and uh, we we were we were tired and. I'm not taking anything away from this big red machine. Believe me, they went through us in four games like we didn't even know they, we were there. But what we brought out of that is we got to win this thing again next year so we can play those guys and show them that we belong there with them. Can we beat them? Well, we'll never know until we play these guys again. But we knew that, I mean, we, we were just exhausted after that thing. And, and uh, it. It was almost a disappointment because afterwards, you know, you're disappointed. You're staring into space wondering what the hell happened and all this. But after a while, you just got to the point where were we actually in a World Series because it didn't last very long, you know. And, and everybody on that team, that was our goal, to get back to the World Series, naturally to be in the World Series, but we, we figured – the big red machine would be back in there again. Now we can see what level we're playing at, but it never happened. Well, you kept your end of the bargain. It, it turns out the, the big red machine was on somewhat of a decline. The yeah. L.A. Dodgers stepped up. That's right. And in essence, it became the great East Coast, West Coast <laughs> World Series for two years in a, in a row. Yep. There were some great additions to that 1977 team. Obviously, Reggie Jackson being the, the most common one that everyone mentioned. But there were other couple of missing parts that added to that team that boosted you guys up to the port where you won the World Series. Well, I I got to tell you, you know, you, you need 25 guys during the season. But I think Reggie Jackson was probably the biggest reason. He solidified our lineup just being Reggie Jackson and hitting the home runs and doing all these things. But, you know, we improved our pitching. We, we, we improved just enough. To be honest with you, I felt we could have taken that 76 team and just stayed the way we are and would have went there again. A lot of guys don't agree with me. Some do, my. Some of the players do, but I've said that before. I said, what, what are you, nuts? But I thought that team was just, I mean, if we'd all played together that uh, another year or two, I mean, we would have done some damage. The, the World Series against the, uh, the, the Dodgers in 77, um, you, the Yankees went in in six. There were some, obviously, some great moments in that World Series. The, the, one of the most impressive being game one, you win game one. What, what was what was it feeling, not only to be in a World Series, but to be the winning pitcher of a World Series game? Well, I had to be the winning pitcher because I gave up the run to tie <laughs> tie up the doggone thing. And, uh, you know, I, I come in, I mean, I, I was just, I had good stuff that night. And uh, I, I, I can't remember if it was a sacrifice fly or, I, I think I got an out, but it just wasn't enough. And. And uh, they said, well, how do you feel? I said, man, you're not taking me out of this game. I'm going. And and uh, I think I ended up pitching four innings. You, you ended up pitching into the 12th when, yeah, the, when yeah. the Yankees win. Yeah. And uh, I think that just set the table for us right there. And, and no one was happier that the outstanding player, especially defensive Paul Blair, missed two bunt signs, <laughs> missed two bunts, and therefore had to swing away and knocked in the winning run in the 12th, and you probably bought Paul Blair a drink for missing two bunts. Well, I did buy him a drink for missing two bunts, <laughs> but I bought Nettles more drinks for all the diving plays that he caught. <laughs> so, I mean, that, that's back when... I mean, I, I can tell you, I, I can almost still see his face, Tommy the sort of just dropping all kinds of language in there going, what the hell is this guy doing? And 
And we're trying to tell him, hey, he plays like that every day. Yeah, it was a blast. That was the 1977 World Series Championship. When we come back, we'll go forward a year to 1978. Somerville Aluminum sets the standard for best in class. For over three generations, we've seen products changing, processes changing. What hasn't changed about us is who we are. From our home to yours, we invite you to explore our new state-of-the-art showroom and visualize your dream. We want you to touch and experience the latest products so you can make the best choices. From kitchens and baths to windows, doors and siding, we have it all. Be home assured with Somerville Aluminum.